Hey, it's Mr. Gibson again. This is our lesson one of Adobe Illustrator, finally. Uh, Illustrator's a pretty great vector-based program, uh, a drawing program that's been around for a very long time, and they've made some uh, improvements upon it over the years, and we're gonna just get to know the workspace in this quick lesson. Uh, when you open up Illustrator, your, uh, once you get it all set it up, set up, this is what you're going to uh, be uh, presented with. Um, these tutorials here are really great. I mean, they do such a better job than I do at um, really getting into some some uh, uh, detailed uh, tool use of some of this stuff. So feel free to check out these things. Um, uh, they're only like 15, 20 minutes long, and you can really learn a lot. Uh, and I certainly have in going through this. Um, up here is your file menu. Like uh, with most other programs, this will be pretty much where you get all of your commands for everything that you're doing. Um, and then uh, alternately, you can go home uh, or learn. Uh, home is, is where you can start creating some things. Uh, you can also have a learn uh, link here. And then uh, some presets if you want to, uh, some of the more popular uh, projects. So uh, we're going to go to, first off, we're going to go to open. Uh, and we're going to go to uh, lesson one. Uh, and I want to open up both start one and two. Okay. Let those boot up here. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, lesson one here. Uh, first, uh, the uh, let me hide that. Okay, there we go. A uh, few things to walk through. Um, over here is your toolbar. Uh, if you want to pop that out a little bit, these little arrows right there let you do that. Just click once on there. If you want to drag this away and make it float in another window or somewhere else uh, on your screen, you can do that as well. If you want to roll that back, just uh, grab uh, either this dark spot, this dark bar here, or this dotted line, and you can just slowly go back to the end of the screen, and eventually, with your mouse, you can see that blue line, just let go of your mouse button, and it redocks. Okay? Same thing with these files. If you have a number of different files you're going to be working with, you can reorganize these uh, depending on what your preference level is. Over here are our what we call panels, and these feature information and other things uh, about your, your piece of art that you're working on. Uh, the properties layer uh, pretty much deals with um, anything having to uh, do on screen. So if I click over here, make sure uh, our selection tool is selected. Go over here and just select this blue field uh, right away. This all changes to reflect what's being selected. Uh, we know it's a rectangle. We know that it's uh, it's at a certain X and Y coordinate on the screen. Uh, it also has a width and a height that we can manipulate. It even has a rotate uh, option if you want to rotate it around, or flip option. So lots of different things to uh, figure out there. Uh, the appearance, this is all our color, so we can just click that. There are a number of different options in and around this, this table, or this uh, panel, rather. Uh, there are swatches. There's a color palette. Uh, there's a um, uh, lots of different, uh, again, different library things down here that we can mess with uh, later on in some lessons, but just to know that's there. Stroke, so fill and stroke. Stroke is basically a line around whatever is um, like a coloring book, like is whatever is selected. You can uh, mess around with the color. You can mess with uh, the thickness of the line. Uh, and you can see we put a gray line on that there. Again, if you ever want to undo something, just hit Control Z. Uh, if you want to redo something, it's Control or Shift Control Z, and it'll pop it right back there. So Control Z. Uh, alternatively, if you want to select something and you want to deselect something, uh, Select All is Control A. Deselect All is Shift Control A. All right. Uh, let's see. Everything else over here. Uh, let's select the blue field again. Uh, the gradient fields. We'll deal with that another time. There's an align line field here if you want to align it with another object which we will also get into in a future lesson uh, the layers panel uh, layers are like uh, sheets of plastic uh, clear plastic where you have uh, different items on each layer in case you want to work with them i can go over here to this eye these eyeballs and shut them off and then all of a sudden we just have our flowers uh, flowers left if i go to select one of these flowers see the color of the layer each layer has its own color green um, for this one and red for that one, blue for that one. Um, you can see a little box there that indicates the selected art, which which field it's on or which panel or layer it's on. All right. 
we're not going to worry about the libraries too much right now. Uh, I'm going to pop these back. Also, uh, also over here, if you hit these little circles, if I go to the flowers and I want to select everything that's on that layer, I can hit that little circle and everything pops up. Um, same with the uh, the text layer, and then of course you know the background layer. So and you can see how those little colored boxes pop up when something on that layer is selected. Okay, to uh, to deselect without having to hit any keyboards, just click outside of the artboard. Voila, and here we go. Uh, view Control Zero will fit everything into the window. Uh, this part was hidden just a little bit ago. Uh, and then let's talk about the zoom tool. Zoom tool is going to be your friend. Uh, every anywhere you click with the zoom tool. So I'm going to click on this flower. It's going to bring it to the center of, the, of your window. Okay, there it is. I can keep going. If I click over here, it'll bring that to the center. If I bring it over here, that'll bring that to the center. Uh, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, you see how that changes from a, a plus to a minus? And then we can uh, scroll, uh, click back out. Okay. Uh, also, if you want to drag the magnifying glass, if I set the what again recognize that wherever you put this uh magnifying glass and click it's going to bring that to the center so if i want to zoom in on this flower i'm going to start there hold down my left mouse butt click button and then drag to the right see how that works now if i click and drag to the left it will shrink it down there you go uh, same if you go this way or this way or this way or this way uh, and then if you want to get this back uh, and you just want to move some things around, let's say I'm, let's say I'm really scrolled in here and I want to move around, let's say I wanted to get to this word, uh, hold down your space bar and then your pan tool shows up. Hold that down that space bar and then you can grab and drag the artwork without selecting anything. Okay, and hit control zero, to pop back out. Uh, and we're ready to uh, work on this file a little bit. Um, Let's talk about uh, let's talk about some uh, other things about our working environment. Uh, if you go up to the window menu, um, there are all of these different types of panels that you can bring out in to work with. So, for instance, we're going to talk about artboards next. So, I'm going to just select that. Okay, um, artboards is uh, something uh, we'll talk about here in just a second. But I'm going to go ahead and since I I want to work with artboards here. Um, in a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that tab and I want to make it part of my properties, layers, and libraries groups. So I'm just going to go ahead and as soon as that lights up blue like that, I'll just let go of my mouse button and it's one of the tabs. If you want to reorganize this, uh, this order, just drag that, that tab over or drag it over like that. Uh, and then if you want to not make it part of that group, drag, just drag it out again. And then if you want to make it, let's say its own panel apart from that group, uh, we're just going to drag it down to the bottom of this panel group until you see a little, it's kind of hard to see, and it takes some fine motor skills, so just you know, be patient. If you see this uh, blue line there, I'm just going to let go of my mouse button, and there it is. Okay. Uh, if I double click uh, the properties, let's say I want to shrink that down, just double click that, and you can shrink it down. Same with artboards, pop it back open, pack, pop it back open. Okay. Um, this uh, uh, shrinks this down, so if you want to get your panels out of the way for a little bit, or pops back open. Okay, uh, one more thing about working your working environment and your 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 layout. Um, I have artboards now. Let's say I wanted to save that for a future project. So I'm going to go to Window, Workspace, and then New Workspace, and I'm going to save this as something like that okay hit okay and now here we are um this little icon up here will allow you to choose between the workspaces uh default workspace is essentials and because i was messing around with it it saved it like that so i'm going to go ahead and uh workspace and then reset essentials and it's back to default to the default setting go up here to this logo this little icon i can go to gibby's workspace and then here we are it's back how i had it all right so that that helps you if you want, like, let's say, let's go to the workspace. There's all these different presets like painting. Let's say you want to paint a lot in Illustrator. You can choose that and then bingo, there are all of these different panels that you have that might be a little more conducive to artwork. Um, maybe you like uh, typesetting for maybe you're laying out a book. Uh, go to typography 
and then there are all these other panels that will help uh, with you with all of the, the typesetting that you do. Okay, I'm just going to go back to Essentials because it's pretty awesome. Uh, and there we go. Okay, um, actually, you know what? Let's go back to this one with the artboard on it, and then I can show you kind of what's going on. Okay, uh, we're going to ditch this file. We're going to close without saving. All right, here's our second file, uh, Start 2. And you can see there are two different artboards here. There's a front of a postcard and a back of a postcard. Uh, and that's our art, our art, our, <laughs> hard to say, our artboard panel has changed. So there's two artboards, a front and a back. And a back, there we go. Uh, also up on properties, um, if I select something in, in the window here, There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, no selection, but I selected in the artboard itself. And then you go to edit artboards, which allows you to um, size this differently. Uh, there's two artboards here. You can, if you had a whole bunch of artboards, you can have up a th to a thousand in any one file. Um, I can go to one, I can go to two. I can also use this arrow to go back and forth, uh, or I can use this artboard panel to go front and back. Uh, there's, there's even, there's even a uh, uh, drop down here that allows you to go front and back. You can't see it because it's going down below my monitor. But there's lots of ways to do pretty much anything in Illustrator. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, if I want to get both artboards back in there, I want to go to View and then Fit All in Window. And there you go. You got all two of them. There. Yeah, all all two of the artboards there. Okay, one more thing I wanted to go over, and that is uh, something called Pixel View. So you might be you might be using Illustrator to design for a website or um, uh, some sort of screen application, maybe it's Instagram or social media. Uh, if you want to take a look at what it might look like, what your creation is going to look like uh, uh, as a screen view, go up to uh, View, Pixel Preview, and there you go. This is at four hundred percent. If you um, let's, uh, we'll hold down the alt key and click back to 100%. And that's what it would look like on screen. That would be the exact size on the screen. Not bad. Uh, and if you want to turn that off again, view and then turn off pixel preview. Uh, another view you might be interested in is control Y. If you hold that down, that gives you all of the outlines, all of the shapes that you're working with without all of the color fills, which on some computers might slow you down as you're working through things. Or if you're working on a complicated bit of artwork, um, Hit Control Y again, and then you're back to um, all, what your piece actually looks like. Hit Control Zero. Um, finally, um, uh, if we had more to do here, I, we'll we'll mess around with this. This basically is a way to um, organize all of your artboards and tile things, uh, and we'll we'll work with that in another lesson. Uh, finally, is this Help menu? Uh, there's what two ways to get help. Um, there's this Illustrator help. There's also the Illustrator tutorials that'll take you to a website. Um, there's also, if you need to search for something uh, specifically, like let's say I'll put in artboard here, what happens is this website pops up uh, with all on the Adobe site and with all of these different ways to help you. You can even say, since we're working as an Illustrator, I can click that uh, and then um, uh, all these videos and uh, different pages that you can use to get help. Um, and especially if you're working late at night or you're, you're on the weekend, you don't know what's going on. Uh, these things can really come in, come in uh, handy. So just make sure you're aware of, of how you get help and where you can get help. Um, and uh, thank you for watching this lesson. We'll, uh, we'll tackle drawing some other things here in uh, the near future.